Climb the highest mountain in Africa, Mount Kilimanjaro. This trek is a challenging and inspirational experience for all who attempt it. Adventures Within Reach offers all routes, which can be done in five to eight days. Each trek is fully supported with guides, porters, and cooks. Your safety is our top priority. But what route should I take? This is among our most common questions about Kilimanjaro. Let me start by describing each of the routes. The Morongo route, also called the Coca-Cola route, is the most popular. It takes a minimum of five days to complete, and climbers sleep in huts with simple beds. This is the only route with huts and where you go up and down on the same trail. We recommend this route during the rainy season for inexperienced trekkers and for people who do not like tent camping. We recommend an extra day on this route. The second most popular route is the Machame route, also called the Whiskey route. This route is a minimum of six days with longer hiking distances than the Morongo route. There are no sleeping huts, so climbers sleep in tents. This route is more beautiful and a higher percentage of climbers summit. While a six day trek is possible, we recommend an extra day on the mountain by camping at Karanga Camp. The Rongai route is one of our more successful routes and is very scenic. It can be done in six or seven days, and it is one of the easiest routes. The Rongai route starts on the north side of the mountain, and you descend down the Morongo route on the south side of the mountain. This is a drier route with little rainforest or mud on the first day. Fewer people do this route, so chances are that you will be the only group on the trail for the first four or five days. There is a four-hour drive to the trailhead on the northeast side of the mountain, but you drive through many villages and coffee plantations, adding an interesting look at African life. It is a particularly good choice in July and August when other routes are overcrowded. The Lamosho route is typically done in eight days. This is a great option if you want a longer trek for acclimatization. This route starts on the west side of the mountain and meets up with the Machami route. It also has a four hour drive to the trailhead. The Shiro route runs parallel to the Lamosho route at the beginning, but starts much higher up. The Umbwe route is a very short and direct route, starting on the south side of the mountain. Both the Shiro route and the Umbwe route meet up with the Machame route on the second night. Since these are shorter, faster routes, they are better for experienced, high-altitude trekkers. All the routes on Kilimanjaro are spectacular, and you won't be disappointed with whichever route you choose. If you have any questions on which route to take, feel free to contact us for more information. Mm -hmm.